everybody, Jason here of GhostbustersNews.com, and as always, Ghostbusters News right here on YouTube. And today I am back, and we're going to talk about something very important, and that is the Ghostbusters Ghost Whistle. Yeah, the brand new Ghost Whistle from Hasbro. It is hitting store shelves right now, and it has Ghostbusters fans scratching their heads a bit. Because why? Why would you need a Ghost Whistle? The assumption is that it's going to tie itself into Ghostbusters Afterlife, and people are assuming that mainly because of the newer style packaging and some of the symbols here that are featured on the side dial. As we've got Slimer, a Terror Dog, a Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, or a Mini Puft, and Muncher, the brand new ghost that will be in Ghostbusters Afterlife. Now I know what you're thinking, I know what you're saying, Jason, how does this whistle tie into Ghostbusters Afterlife? You promised you'd tell us. Well, let's take you back to yesterday's reveals from Hasbro. Right here, you're taking a look at some of the upcoming Plasma Series action figures, including the modern-day renditions of Ray Stans, Winston Zedmore, and Peter Venkman, along with some of the new Ghostbusters. We got Lucky, Trevor, and Podcast. Now let's go ahead and zoom in on Podcast here, because he kind of holds the answer to why a ghost whistle is a thing. Once again, at least I think this is the reason. Take a look around Podcast's waist. Now first, you may notice that awkward brown belt, but that's not the focus. Check out what is attached to the belt. Hey, is that a cone head? I mean, Dan Aykroyd, right? Because it's clearly a skull. But the way the top of the head is shaped, I mean, it could be a bottle. It could be, I don't know, a whistle? Now, following that reveal yesterday morning, Hasbro revealed a couple more items, including Clue Ghostbusters Edition. And can I just mention how much I love that box art? It is beautiful. But I'm getting sidetracked here. Let's go back to the ghost whistle. So, in Clue Ghostbusters Edition, you'll be able to use spectral devices. And right here, you're taking a look at some of those. They include a proton pack, ecto goggles, a PKA meter, a ghost trap, an RTV. And wait a minute, what is that there in the middle? That looks like a skull with like a whistle on top of its head. And Hasbro has confirmed that that piece is called the Aztec Whistle. And boom, folks, there you go. That is the connection. In the new Ghostbusters Afterlife movie, it looks like they're going to find some kind of Aztec whistle. How it plays into the movie, what it's going to be used for, we don't know at this point. But I'd wager to guess that is why we are now getting a Ghostbusters ghost whistle toy. So that's all I've got for you here right now. If you're still hankering for some more Ghostbusters Afterlife goodness, be sure to check out our full trailer breakdown, which is now here on the Ghostbusters News YouTube channel. As always, be sure to subscribe to Ghostbusters News here on YouTube. Bust that bell notification icon to stay up to date with everything that's happening within the Ghostbusters world. If you'd like to join up with Ghostbusters News, be sure to check out our Patreon page. A link to that can be found right down below in the description. And I'll see everybody right back here next time. No ghosts. Ghostbusters. Black and sackcloth mass hysteria. Full room and vapors are in your area. And these skeletons can break your bones. But I'm the right and now. Ghost, no bozos in the back of my ambulance Pulling out the firehouse, I will handle it Back off, man, I'm a scientist And all this hardware I brought will fry him quick Because astral projections are quite ethereal And not what you want when you eat your cereal Accelerate proton, shorten streams Don't wanna get my face burnt up, go team Cause you're not alone